Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the new developer preview for Android O on the Nexus 6P. Alright, so let's start with the home screen here. As far as appearances go, it's all going to be the same as what you got in Android Nougat. You've got the same icons, notification shade looks the same, and you're running the uh, pixel launcher and everything like that. A lot of the stuff in the settings has changed, so let's start there. I'll go into the display menu and if you hit advanced here, you're going to get a lot more options for your display settings. If you go to display size, you're going to be able to adjust the size of your text and the layout and everything like that. So you can make it a lot bigger or a lot smaller. I like to have mine really small so I have a lot more space. And as far as wallpapers go, we don't have a lot of new ones. We just have one new wallpaper. Um, I'm assuming that's Earth. Another thing that's changed is you'll notice if you go into your security settings, you'll no longer have the option to toggle the unknown sources for installing APKs. Instead, you're going to be prompted to manage your external sources. So in here, you're going to be able to manage any app that's going to be able to install APKs. So we're going to go ahead and select Chrome and we'll toggle that so we can install that APK. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, the new files app. This is just like your download uh, app from the previous version. Nothing new here. And you'll see now I can go ahead and install this APK without any problems. Okay, and something else that has changed in the settings is your about phone, your system updates and developer options and stuff like that is going to be located in a new section called system. But other than that, everything in there is going to be about the same. So let's go to uh, security now. And you'll see in here, this is what your security settings look like. Again, everything is uh, about the same except with the absence of the uh, unknown sources toggle. Some changes have been made to the storage settings. So if you go in here, you're going to be able to enable smart storage that will push everything to your cloud and uh, free up space on your device once it gets too full. You can also manage your storage really easily now. It's going to show a bunch of options here. Uh, as you can see, here's the APK that I downloaded earlier and that's checked, it knows that's a junk file, so I'll go ahead and remove that. And for anyone wondering, Google Fi does work on this developer preview, so if you are subscribed to Google Fi, go ahead and feel free to flash this on your phone. Here's what the battery menu looks like now. You can see it's a different layout from before. Now there are a couple of new features that you may have heard about that are noticeably absent on the Nexus 6P. Specifically the new theme option where you can choose between pixel theme or inverted, and also the system UI tuner. Those new features seem to be specific to the Google Pixel and they're not available on the uh, Nexus 6P. And this was another thing I noticed that was uh, new is the quick settings developer tiles in your developer settings. You can toggle these and um, I assume they're supposed to show up in your quick settings up here but they're not showing up so I'm not quite sure what this is all about. but. And here's a cool new feature for your notifications. If you pull down your notification menu and swipe your notification to the left, you're going to see that little clock icon. That will allow you to snooze, so I can snooze this for an hour, and I'm going to be reminded of this again in an hour. So that's a pretty cool feature. But other than that, as far as the Nexus 6P goes, that's everything that I could find that was new and interesting in the developer preview of Android O. If I find anything else that's new or noteworthy, I'll be talking about it on my Twitter account, so you can follow me on there. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.